Hello everyone, welcome to Hopeful Turns. In today's video, I'll be sharing with you the pattern for a crochet hanging plant. Now I have used some string of pearls to make this hanging plant uh, and it is completely customizable. So if you want, you can make the string of pearls really long or keep it short. You can even make it much more denser than this if that's what you are looking for. So it's a completely customizable pattern. Uh, you can use it as a car hanger or as a home decor piece. You can even gift it uh, to some plant lovers or to people uh, who just somehow cannot keep any plants alive. So it will be a nice gift for them as well. Okay, so let's see the supplies first and then we will head over to the pattern. So for the supplies here, you can use any weight yarn or any type yarn you have at hand. I have used 100% acrylic yarn. It's a medium four weight yarn and I have used it in three different colors. So I have used light brown for the pot part, the dark brown for the mud or the soil and the green for the string of pearls. And now that I have finished making this, I feel that uh, the pot part, if I had used a lighter color, it would have stood out better. So if you're making the pot, uh, try to use a white off white color. I think that would be much better than this light brown. So that's a small suggestion here. Uh, and when it comes to hook, try to use a smaller hook size. So here I have used size G or a 4 mm crochet hook. So whatever is the recommended hook size, just use two or three hook sizes smaller because you want your stitches to be tight. You don't want any stuffing showing out. So that is with respect to hook. You will need a stitch marker, a yarn needle and a pair of scissors and some fiber fill stuffing. Now instead of fiber fill stuffing, you can use some scrap yarn also for the stuffing part. So these are the supplies that you would require. Now before moving forward, a small request. If at any point in the video you like what you see, please do not forget to press on the like button. And if you're new to my channel, please do consider subscribing. Now let's get into the pattern. So we'll start our pattern with a magic circle. And this is how I like to do the magic circle. You take your yarn, loop it around your fingers like an X. Now take this loop out, take your hook, pass your hook through this loop here and pull your working yarn through. So this here is your magic circle. Now once you make a magic circle, make one chain stitch. Now, if you want a more detailed tutorial on how to do the magic circle, you can find the link in the description box. Okay, so we have made a magic circle. We have put a chain one. Now we'll start round one. Now for round one, we are going to put eight single crochet into the magic circle. So we'll put eight single crochet. So insert your hook, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through both the loops. So this here is my first single crochet. Like that, I'm going to make eight single crochet into the magic circle. So this is two. This is the third single crochet, three, four, five, six, seven, and one more single crochet, eight. So round one, we have started with one chain stitch and then eight single crochet. You can just pull on this end so as to just close off your magic circle. Okay. Okay. So round one is done. We will start round two. Now round two, we are going to start on top of the first single crochet. Uh, we will be working in continuous round. We are not going to slip stitch after every round. So round two is going to be an increased round. That means we will be putting two single crochet in every stitch. So this here is your chain one and this here is your first single crochet. If you have any confusion, just go from here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this will be our first single crochet. So we'll start round two by putting two single crochet in every stitch. So into the first stitch, put two single crochet. This is one. And into the same stitch, make another single crochet, two. Now mark your first stitch, okay? So round two, we have started with two single crochet. Come to your second stitch and again, make an increase. That is put two single crochet in the same stitch. So this is one. And in the same stitch, 
make another single crochet come to your next stitch again put two single crochet like that you can just go ahead and repeat the pattern making two single crochet in every stitch and once you finish this round you will have a total of 16 single crochet so i'll just complete this round so here I'm at the end of round two and I have a total of 16 single crochet. At this point, I'm just going to pull on this end so as to close off the magic circle completely. All right, let's move on to round three. Now the pattern for round three will be, we'll be making one single crochet followed by an increase stitch. That is, we'll make one single crochet, then two single crochet. So let's start. So into the first stitch, make just one single crochet. You can mark your stitch otherwise it might get confusing so i have put one single crochet in the first stitch and in the next stitch put an increase that is put two single crochet so this is one and in the same stitch make another single crochet and you can just go ahead and repeat the pattern so in the next stitch you will be making just one single crochet and then you will put two single crochet in the next stitch so this is one and in the same stitch make another single crochet so like this you can just go ahead and repeat the pattern making one single crochet followed by two single crochet and once you finish this round you will have a total of 24 single crochet all right so i'll just complete this round so here i have finished round three and i have now a total of 24 single crochet we will move on to round four now the pattern for round four is we will make one single crochet one single crochet and an increase so one one two is the pattern for this round so we'll start make one single crochet mark your stitch so this is one into the next stitch also just put one single crochet and then into the third stitch make an increase so here i'm going to put two single crochet one and in the same stitch another one so you have put two single crochet in the same stitch and we are just going to repeat the pattern we'll put one single crochet one single crochet and then two single crochet or an increase stitch so just go ahead and repeat the pattern making one one two single crochets and once you finish this you should have a total of uh, 32 single crochets so i'll complete this so here round four is completed and once you finish that you will have a total of 32 single crochet we will move on to round five now the pattern for round five will be you will be putting three single crochet and then an increase stitch so we'll start so into the first stitch just put one single crochet all right into the second stitch also put just one single crochet into the third stitch also just put one single crochet so here we have put three single crochet and then into the next stitch i'm going to make an increase so here i'm going to put two single crochet so this is the pattern that will be followed for this round you will put three single crochet and then an increase stitch so one 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 followed by two is the pattern for this round and once you finish this you'll have a total of 40 single crochet so i'll complete this round so here i'm at the end of round five and i have 40 single crochet we will move on to round six now the pattern for round six is you will put four single crochet and then an increase stitch so we'll start so this is my first stitch i'll mark my stitch here so we have to put four single crochet and an increase so this is one two three and four all right so here i have put four single crochet and next i'm going to make an increase stitch so i'm put two single crochet in the same stitch and this is the pattern for your round six you will make four single crochet and an increase so i'll just complete this round so here i have finished round six and i have a total of 48 single crochet and with this we will stop increasing so this will be the base or the bottom of your pot all right now we'll add the sides so round six is done round seven we are starting with the sides and round seven we are not going to do any increases we'll just put one single crochet in all of these stitches uh, so you'll have 48 single crochet itself but there is a little bit of a twist we will be working 
only in the back loop so if you see your stitch here you can see there is a V this is the front and this is the back loop so we will be putting single crochets only in the back loops all right just put one single crochet in every stitch in the back loop only so this is your first stitch here find the back loop so this is your V front and the loop that is just behind that is your back loop only through the back loop you just insert your hook and make a single crochet so this is your first stitch mark your stitch here okay come to your next stitch again make a single crochet but only through the back loop like this come to your next stitch front loop back loop insert your hook through the back loop only and then complete your single crochet like this you can just go ahead and repeat the pattern just make one single crochet for this round and all the single crochet will be worked in the back loop and you will end up with 48 single crochet now what this does is it will fold your pot so that is why we are working in the back loops so i'll just continue this making 48 single crochets so here I'm at the end of round 7 and I have put 48 single crochet all worked in the back loops. Alright, now we'll move on to round 8. Now from round 8 to round 13, the pattern is the same. We'll be just putting one single crochet in every stitch. So from round 8 to round 13, you'll have 48 single crochets. And this time it will be worked in both the loops. So take this stitch out. So we'll start round 8. So this is the stitch that was marked. I'm going to make a single crochet here and rejoin the stitch marker. I'm just going to go ahead and continue making one single crochet in every stitch. So this time I'm taking both the loops here and I'll make one single crochet. So I'll just go ahead and continue the pattern making one single crochet in every stitch. And once you finish off this round, you take your stitch marker, again make a, a round of single crochet and it will automatically fold up into a pot. So I'll meet you uh, at round 13. All right. And all the rounds will have the exact same number of stitches that it that is 48 single crochet. So I'll just complete those rounds. So here I have repeated the pattern. Actually, I did mention that you have to repeat it till round 13. But when I finished round 13, uh, I found that the height was not much. So I added two more rounds. So now I am at round 15. So what I've done is I have repeated round 8 all the way up till round 15. Okay, so this was my last single crochet. Now in order to finish off this, I'm just going to slip stitch into the next stitch. So I have made 48 single crochet in round 15 and to finish this off i'm going to find the next stitch here and slip stitch so that will finish off the pot you can cut your yarn here so that is done now we'll move on to the soil part for that uh, i'm going to take my brown color yarn and this again I'm going to start with a magic circle so make your magic circle first like this and then make one chain stitch chain one and start with eight single crochet now here again the pattern for the soil part is the same you're going to start with eight single crochet for round one and you're going to repeat it all the way up till uh, round six as you have done for the uh, pot so just go ahead and repeat this soil part from round one to round six as you have done for your basket so you'll be getting this particular circle before we work on the back loops so i'll just complete this and make a small circle so just repeat exactly like this till round uh, six so here i have repeated the pattern just like we did for the pot so i'm at round six and once you finish round six you should have a total of 48 single crochet now in order to finish off this this is my last single crochet into the next stitch i'm just going to slip stitch like this and i'll cut my yarn off okay so the soil part is also done now that we have done the pot and the soil let's start with the string of pearls so for that i'm taking a green color yarn here 
and we are starting with a slip knot so before you make a slip knot try to leave a little bit of a tail and then you make your slip knot so don't go and make the slip knot at the very edge I've left a small tail here this much should be more than enough okay so let's start so we are going to start by making eight chain stitch first so chain eight one two three four five six seven and eight so here we are starting with eight chain stitch next what I'm going to do is I'm going to skip the first chain stitch and insert my hook into the second chain stitch okay so skip one stitch and insert your hook into the second stitch so I'm going to yarn over first insert the hook into the second stitch from the hook and pull up a loop you have now three loops on your hook you just yarn over and pull your yarn through first two loops only one and two you still are left with two loops so this was the first pull we have to pull three times so we have done once again you yarn over insert your hook through the same stitch the second stitch itself and pull up a loop you again yarn over and pull through the first two loops only so yarn over and pull through the first two loops only you are left with three loops you'll do once more so yarn over insert your hook through the same stitch and pull up a loop again you yarn over and pull through only the first two loops like this now if you see you are left with four loops on your hook you yarn over and pull through all the four loops like this after that make two chain stitch one two go back into the same stitch the chain uh, the second chain stitch where all the loops have been inserted you go there and then slip stitch so slip stitch like this okay so that makes our first pull now we are going to repeat the same pattern so now from here the pattern will be the same so once you make a pull make four chain stitches so this is a repeat pattern one two three four you make four chain stitch you skip one stitch and insert your hook into the second stitch four times you're making a mini puff stitch so skip one stitch and into the second stitch insert your hook yarn over insert your hook pull up a loop yarn over pull through the first two loops only all right again yarn over insert your hook pull up a loop yarn over pull through first two loops only so this was the second pull one last time yarn over insert your hook pull up a loop yarn over pull through first two loops only now you have four loops on your hook you yarn over and pull through all the four loops after that make two chain stitch one two and slip stitch into the stitch where all of this has gone okay so you can see a small gap here you're going to go there and slip stitch so that will make our second pearl so one will be in one direction the other will be in another direction that's totally fine uh, it will not be in the same direction sometimes few pearls will be in same direction just leave it to it so we have made two pearls we will continue making so every time we'll start with four chain stitch one two three four you will skip one stitch and insert your hook into the second stitch four times so we'll do that yarn over insert your hook into the second stitch pull up a loop yarn over pull through the first two loops only once more yarn over insert your hook pull up a loop yarn over pull through the first two loops only again yarn over insert your hook pull up a loop yarn over pull through the first two loops only now you have four loops now you yarn over pull through all the four loops chain two one two and slip stitch here where all the stitches are going you go there and slip stitch like this all right so that creates the third pearl i'm going to do four pearls this time so again i'm going to start with four chain stitch one two three four skip one stitch insert it into the second stitch four times so this is the second one sorry you messed it up okay we'll do that again so one chain stitch two 
three, four yarn over through the second stitch four times. This is one. This here is two. Pull it only through two loops and again two loops. You have four loops. Yarn over, pull through all the four loops. Chain two and slip stitch. Okay. So here I have made the string of pearls which has four pearls. Now you can go ahead and continue making longer pearls. So if you want you can go up till six or eight or ten. Whenever you are ready you can uh, stop it. So this, this is like string of pearls of just four. So I am stopping here. Once you do a slip stitch just take just like a chain when you pull your yarn and cut it off. So this is one string. Now like that you can make a couple of strings. You can make strings which are 10, which has 10 pearls, which have 12 pearls. You just repeat the pattern as long as you want. And if you want, you can use a darning needle to hide this in. But I just prefer to take the yarn through a couple of stitches with my darning needle itself. So go through a couple of stitches. You can hide this in a few times you can go and make this so I'll make a couple of strings some will be 8 some will be 10 uh, I'll show you exactly how many I'll be making so this should be enough you can cut your yarn here all right so this is done so here I have made a couple of strings so I have made some which have four pearls this set has six this has uh, 8 this has 10 and this has 12 so you just have to repeat the pattern you can just go on making as many pearls as you want so if you want much longer pearls just go ahead and repeat the pattern so I have made uh, 10 pearls and 12 pearls in sets of 3 4 6 and 8 I have made 4 sets each okay now if you want more dense uh, more bushy a crowded kind of uh, feel to it you just add more strings if you don't want uh, too many uh, strings attached so you you can just uh, make less number of strings okay so once you are done with this we will attach this to the soil so take the circle part that you have and I'm going to this is the wrong side so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a couple of this from the very center I'm going to pull on this and try to take it out like this now if you want you can take everything out from the middle or if you want you can attach a few from this uh, on any part of the circle that's totally up to you I'll try to attach as many as possible from the center and then maybe a few uh, just somewhere on the soil part but my aim is to pull out as many as possible from the very center so I'll take all of these strings out from the center part so here I have taken out the strings from the center as well as on the few stitches on the first two rounds it does doesn't make much of a difference it's really uh, nice and dense nicely uh, covered so if you do not want so much of uh, strings just uh, reduce the number of um, strings that you are going to make and here you have all the ends so just pull it out nicely and I'm going to divide it into a few parts I'm just going to double knot this and we'll be hiding it inside the pot because we are anyway going to make a couple of filling we are going to put fillings so the strings will be all hidden inside so just make a couple of knots between them and then all of it together so that these are nicely secured okay so I'll just knot all of this make sure everything is knotted down otherwise the strings might get pulled out so I'll just knot all of this just randomly knot the strings so here I have knotted this down. I have done random knots, quite a few knots here. And then I'm just going to trim this off. It's not necessary, but uh, when we are joining the soil to the top, this might come as a distraction. So I'm just trimming this off. 
keeping a little bit here all right okay now let's attach this soil part to the pot now let's attach the soil to the pot here so for that i have taken a long piece of yarn i have taken the same color as the pot here and what we'll do is we'll take the soil circle part and the pot i'm going to use the if you see there is a v i'm going to use the back loop of the pot and if you see this here there is a front and back and the front loop of the circle part or the soil part i'll use my darning needle to attach this so this is how i'm going to so the uh, loops that are close to each other the circular part and the soil uh, soil and the basket the loops that are close to each other we'll insert our yarn needle through it and start joining this so i'll just go around this part about 90 percent of it after that we'll add the filling to it so just go around this stitching both the pieces together one stitch at a time now it might be a little bit tricky because you have a lot of loose things here so just take your time go one stitch at a time and attach it so this is how it will be so i'll complete almost 90 percent of it and then we'll start adding the filling here i have stitched up the pieces together i have last few stitches left now before we close off this completely you can add in the stuffing so i have added in a little bit so I'm just going to add the last bit of stuffing before we can close this up completely. Okay. So make sure you have enough stuffing. And then we'll just stitch up the last few stitches that are left. So I'll just complete that. And then we can hide in the loose ends. So I'm just going to go ahead and stitch up the last few stitches that are left okay so here i'm almost at the end of it i'll go to the first stitch i'll make a small knot here so that everything stays in place and then just i'm going to hide the remaining tail end you can go through a couple of stitches and then close this off completely uh, similarly you can hide in the other end also so this one also just attach a yarn needle and then hide in this end i'm just going to cut my yarn here all right so this part is done okay now if you want to use it uh now do hide this in with a darning needle just go through a couple of stitches through this part and that should be fine so the plant as such is done so you can keep it on your table like this or you can add a hanging so we'll do the hanging part so for that i'm again going to take this brown color yarn we'll start with that so for the hanging part uh, with the light brown color i have made a long chain so i have made 70 chain stitches so i have made a slip knot and i have put 70 chain stitch like that i have two of this so make 70 chain stitch so this will be uh, the hanging height so if you want a smaller hanging just reduce the number of chain stitch if you want a much larger hanging just increase the number of chain stitch you should have two of this now what we'll do is if you take this spot here uh, our last uh, round had 48 single crochet so what i have divided it by four so it is 12 so and i have marked 12 stitches apart so with a stitch marker or with the yarn that you have mark the first stitch so this is one then count 12 stitches and in the next one put a stitch marker from here again count 12 stitches and in the next stitch make put a stitch marker again count 12 and put a stitch marker so between the stitch markers you should have 12 stitches uh, including the first one so like that i have divided this into four parts and take one of your chain stitch take any one stitch marker insert your yarn there just take it off 
insert it here and then attach this all right just attach it with a knot and then you can weave in this end inside now take the other end so this is the first stitch marker go to the second one right here which will be opposite to it take this stitch marker out and pull your yarn out through it make a knot and then you can hide in the loose end similarly you can use the other chain stitch to make the same like this and you can hide in inside this part now with the next piece of yarn or the stitch marker i'm just taking this out and using the next chain stitch that we have made i'll attach it and then knot this down and this also needs to be hidden in take the other end and go directly opposite to it this one and take this off and attach this as well okay knot this down and hide all the four ends so I'll do that and if you see here sorry our hanging part is done now you might have to adjust all of this together now once you push this up you can just tie this together or just keep it loose you can put on any hook that you want or else just hold this together and make a knot at the very top now if you want you can wrap a yarn also that's totally up to you so here i have pushed all of this together so make make sure the loop is of the same height okay so you have got a small knot here these are the two lo loops now if you want you can with the same brown color yarn you can wrap around the knot that you have made that's totally your choice how you want to be anyway the hanging basket is done i'll just weave in all the loose ends and then show you so here i have hidden in all the loose ends and our plant is ready so yeah that was a tutorial on how to do this crochet plant hanging with the string of pearls I hope you liked it now as I said if you want you can make it a little less dense or uh, crowded I wanted a very nice bushy one the other one it was not this bushy so yeah depending on how you want how many strings of pearls you want you can do that you can adjust according to your liking so yeah that was it i hope you liked it now if you liked it please do not forget to press on the like button and if you're new to my channel please do consider subscribing see you in another video until then bye bye thank you for